Good to see you and uh, welcome back to Liverpool in what are the unfamiliar surroundings of the AXA Training Centre. Just give us your thoughts on here and being back at the city and in the club. Well, it's great to be back in Liverpool. Uh, it was a while because of, uh, of COVID. It was a difficult time, I think, for all of us. So it's great to be back. It's great to see my former teammates and, and staff and people around and in Liverpool. Uh, but also it's great to be here at this uh, fantastic training ground and uh, I was always used to Melwood but uh, I think this is something special and it will help the team uh, even to greater su success I think. Just take us back to that first day then that you was at Melwood and what were your thoughts and your feelings when you first arrived at the training ground? Well of course I was very proud uh, that I signed for uh, Liverpool Football Club. It uh, was, was a privilege for me to join the club and uh, yeah, that was the first day I arrived at Melwood and uh, I can remember uh, Rafa Benitez was waiting for me and uh, the, the first player I, I sh uh, shook uh, hand, hands with was uh, Steven Gerrard and, and he helped me a lot. He was the captain of the team, of course, and um, yeah, the rest is history. And we just spoke to Maxi and he said he's bumped into Carol and Caroline from the canteen here. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen them? Have you been back? No, I didn't at the time because we were, uh, they, they picked us up and we had straight to come to you guys. So uh, you, had the, you had the honor. So um, yeah, hopefully I will see them. And uh, that's, that's nice to, just to see uh, the people uh, in and around the, the football club. And yeah, that's what I always uh, say when people ask me that Liverpool is more than a football club. It's more like, you know, a family where, um, yeah, where, where you can see a lot of people whenever you come back that they are still there. And Liverpool um, current day, have got Benfica coming up soon. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. You were part of the team that last played against Benfica in yeah. 2010. Defeat away from home in quite an intense atmosphere and then won over the two legs. What are your memories of those encounters against Benfica? Well, yeah, we, we played a, a few Portuguese teams and it's always difficult teams because uh, yeah, they, they just want one thing and that's that's to win and it doesn't matter for them how they win and, and, and most of the time it's intense and also pretty defensive and um, yeah it, it was not easy and, and we managed to go through and that's what I expect from this Liverpool side as well. Um, I'm doing a bit of television uh, in Holland uh, during the Champions League game so I saw the figure quite, quite a lot. And they uh, they beat Ajax on a, yeah uh, on a on a way yeah that that's typical Portuguese they they just survive to go through the next round and uh, I think um, yeah the Liverpool team needs to be very alert they have the quality to beat Benfica but um, yeah they they have to be ready and just coming back to the present day here for yourself how much are you looking forward to being back playing at Anfield in front of a full house tomorrow well that, that's always something uh, special and uh, you know I was looking forward for a while to it and uh, like I said with the Covid it was was uh, a hard time and that means also that we couldn't play these kind of matches but it's also uh, for a great course we're playing so uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be back uh, a little bit nervous actually to be back, but you know it's it's, it's yeah, amazing that we have a, a good crowd, a full crowd, and it's all for charity.